An excerpt from the book, Jesus of Nazareth, Volume 2, Pope Benedict XVI. The Greek word that is translated as expiation is hilasterion, of which the Hebrew equivalent is kaporet. This word designated the covering of the Ark of the Covenant. This is the place over which Yahweh appears in a cloud, the place of the mysterious presence of God. This holy place is sprinkled with the blood of the bull killed as a sin offering on the Day of Atonement. The Yam Ha Kippurim, Leviticus 16, whose life is offered up to God in place of the life forfeited by sinful men. The thinking here is that the blood of the victim into which all human sins are absorbed actually touches the divinity and is thereby cleansed. And in the process, human beings represented by the blood are also purified through this contact with God. An astonishing idea both in its grandeur and its incompleteness, an idea that could not remain the last word in the history of religions or the last word in the faith history of Israel. When Paul applies the word hilasterion to Jesus, designating him as the seal of the Ark of the Covenant, and thus as the locus of the presence of the living God, the entire Old Testament theology of worship, and with it all the theologies of worship in the history of religions, is preserved and surpassed, aufgehoben, and raised to a completely new level. Jesus himself is the presence of the living God, God and man, God and the world, touch one another in him. The meaning of the ritual of the Day of Atonement is accomplished in him, in his self-offering on the cross. Jesus, as it were, brings all the sin of the world deep within the love of God and wipes it away, accepting the cross. Entering into fellowship with Christ means entering the realm of transformation and expiation.